Ani Beljo, Vanessa here with Finding Our Power Together. Today I want to spend a little bit of time practicing some mindfulness, learning a new skill to help us in distressful and uncomfortable situations or emotions, and to help us, you know, understand those skills and those mindfulness practices in a way that helps culturally ground us. And so today we are going to be focusing on the accept skill in DBT. So the accept skill is an opportunity for us to continue to build and strengthen our bundle items and provide us with tools and skills that help us cope and deal with uncomfortable emotions or distressful situations. And so accept outlines strategies for us to help distract ourselves from these emotions, give us time to lessen these emotions and their intensities, and or fade away completely. And so using Accept will continue to provide us with an opportunity and a variety of distraction techniques, including focusing on other um, emotions, creating competing emotions, and participating in skills and tools that help us navigate through distressful situations. So the Accept skill starts with A, activities. So activities are tools that we can use in a healthy way that distract ourselves for short periods of time when we are experiencing distressful emotions or uncomfortable situations. Activities help engage our thinking and our concentration to break these patterns that we're having with these emotions and distract us in those, in those moments to help cope. And so activities engage our brain by providing you know, alternate points of focus than our current emotion that we're experiencing or finding overwhelming or triggering. And so an activity can be something physical like working out, going for a walk, playing a sport that you love. Um, but it can also be reading or journaling. It can be watching your favorite TV show or hanging out with friends and family and talking on the phone. So activities are a variety of things that you can do for a short term that you enjoy that help distract you from that current moment or current feeling that you're experiencing. So the first C in accepts is contributing. So contributing is doing something that allows you to focus on others. It removes that focus from our current situation, our current feelings and shifts our attention elsewhere. And so contributing might look like, you know, volunteering at a place that means something special to you. It might be asking a friend about how their day was so that we're no lo longer focusing on, you know, our current state. Um, it might be making a gift or a craft for somebody that we love or providing even words of encouragement, just reaching out to a family or a friend and just saying, you know, hey, you're doing a great job and I'm thinking of you. Taking time to reflect on you know, what have you done this week that helps contribute to your well-being? What can you do next week to contribute to your community or your friends or your family um, in a way that helps, you know, you also manage your difficult emotions or experiences, but essentially you're trying to create something that takes away from your pain and puts attention or concern on somebody else for, for a short period of time to help you kind of lessen those intense feelings that we might be experiencing. So the next C and accept is comparison. So comparison is the process in which you would compare your current emotional state to something that has maybe caused you more distress or discomfort before. Maybe it might be comparing your situation to something that you've already overcome. So thinking of a time when you were more distressed and realizing the tools and skills you use to get through that, this is an opportunity for you to realize that and reflect on how resilient you are. And um, by thinking of the harder times that you've already overcome to help um, put some perspective into what you're currently experiencing. You know, continuing to remember how fortunate you may be and thinking about the different people in your life that um, you can reflect on and lean on, but taking time to really, you know, reflect on what you've overcome, what you've already accomplished, and kind of allowing yourself opportunity to also realize that like you can overcome what you're currently facing. So the next part of the accept skill is emotions. Um, this component of the skill is encouraging you to distract yourself with opposite emotions or, you know, um, activities or tasks that, you know, trigger different emotions than the emotion you're currently feeling. And so, you know, reading an emotional book, watching an emotional music, movie, or listening to music that triggers different emotions for you um, can be a really great tool to distracting yourself from your, from your current state. And so, for example, if you're feeling sad or um, down in any way, you might want to watch a comedy or listen to really upbeat music that puts you in a good place and, you know, really um, brightens, you know, maybe that moment for you. 
Um, maybe it's watching something very drastic, like watching a scary movie or really silly music that kind of just distracts you from that current place and that current feeling you're experiencing. And so um, I think that the reason this works is that it kind of jars those other feelings loose and it gives you an opportunity to um, feel distracted and feel kind of disconnected from that current emotion. Um, so if you're sad or angry, watching something funny or silly, finding an opportunity or a thing that will make you laugh. Um, if you can change your emotion, you can put yourself in a different place and allow yourself time to um, reduce the amount of distress or the amount of um, overwhelmingness that you might be feeling at that time. So the next component is pushing away. Whatever the situation is, simply we want you to just put that aside for a while. Deny that problem for a moment, block out those painful thoughts or images in your mind and refuse to think about them. Like I said, these are really used to help reduce distress in the moment and should be done short term. And so, you know, building up an imaginary wall so that you don't have to think about yourself or that situation. Imagine, you know, putting it on a shelf and, you know, not looking at it. Um, imagine yourself putting it away and giving yourself an opportunity to regulate yourself in that moment as well as strengthen yourself so that you can deal with those emotions or those situations when you're ready. Um, you know, blocking that situation in your mind each time it comes up, telling it to go away, telling it you'll come back to it at another time, just giving yourself an opportunity to have a break, step away, and change your emotional state for that moment. Next, we have thought. Using mental strategies or activities to shift your thought into something more neutral. So if we're experiencing something really distressful, we might utilize counting to 10, counting the tiles we can see on the floor. Um, counting the number of windows or you know the number of people you can see um, this is you know good when we're in maybe an emergency situation or something where we need like an immediate shift in our thought in our thinking and so focusing on something else changing those thought patterns and so um, you want to have these easily accessible so you can kind of just pull them out of your bundle and so um, other ways of distracting yourself might be having a book on hand so that you can read it might be watching videos or movies. It might be doing a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle or writing poetry, something that gets your brain thinking out of what that current situation is and into something new. And so that helps keep your thoughts away from that pain or that experience that's distressful to you and gives yourself an opportunity to break that thought pattern and think about something else for the moment. And lastly, we have sensations. So finding a physical sensation that distracts you from that distressing emotion or that uncomfortable situation. For example, if you're feeling pain or you're upset or you're feeling really overwhelmed by something in your, in your current environment, you might hold an ice cube in your hand and, and focus on that sensation of that um, that burning feeling that might come up or flicking an elastic band on your wrist or maybe running your hands under cold water for a minute you know it might be also putting like a nice heating pack on your neck or taking a hot shower or cold shower it's something that is a healthy outlet that changes your sensations immediately and helps kind of break that that thought pattern helps get you out of that moment that you're feeling distress in or a situation that's making you feel uncomfortable. And so any strong physical stimuli like this can really loosen your connection to the pain or the dis discomfort that you're feeling and distract you for it momentarily. Because essentially the goal of accept is to reduce the amount of distress you're feeling in that moment, distract you long enough so that you can kind of re-regulate yourself and then you wanna create those plans to cope ahead so that you can move forward in a good way. Allow yourself time and space to really care for and nourish your, your body, your mind, your spirit, and give time for those emotions to kind of settle, to kind of come back down to baseline. So utilizing these accept skills are a really great tool to use in the moment when you're really feeling uncomfortable, when the emotions are becoming maybe too much to process and engage with in that moment. So this week's home practice is going to be a worksheet in which you do on your own. It gives you time to reflect in each one of these categories of accept and kind of create a plan for yourself. We really encourage you to engage in these home practices in creating a plan for yourself, strengthening your bundle items, and really taking an opportunity to, to nourish your, your well-being. Miigwech everybody and I hope that these practices continue to strengthen in your bundle and and allow you to continue to nourish yourself in a good way. Miigwech.